okay? 0 0.0081 minus that value, and I get 0 0.0077. Hmm. So now, uh, that's not really a safe assumption anymore, okay? It is making a difference. So um, you can see when my value of K becomes comparable to my concentrations, then I am in danger of that assumption not being valid where I can just drop that out, okay? But that doesn't mean we have to run to the quadratic equation, right? We can still uh, do this. Uh, it's just a little bit repetitive. We'll go through, we just revise our assumption. Instead of saying it's negligible or it's essentially zero, we're going to revise that and say, well, let's use this as an approximation for x, okay? So we'll put that value in there and uh, just for these ones on the bottom where we're subtracting it so that we can still get a constant number here on the bottom and then we'll calculate x uh, from, from the rest of that, okay? So we'll have 4x squared over uh, 0 0.035 minus my, um, my, my value here, this, this number divided by two, which is like uh, 3.47 times 10 to the negative fourth. Um, if we subtract that from 0 0.035, we get um, 0 0.03465, okay? Again, including a few extra significant figures there. And I mentioned before we get uh, 0 0.0077, and likewise I'll put a couple extra significant figures there. Okay? So this is just the computation of 0 0.035 minus x and 0 0.0081 minus x, where x is half of this value, and that half comes because that value is 2x. All right, so that's our new approximation. Instead of being zero and we're just gonna drop it out, we found that that wasn't quite an, a valid assumption because it does modify, particularly this value, um, more significantly, okay? So the, uh, the constant we have is 1.7 times 10 to the minus third, okay? So let's go ahead and calculate x here. We're going to have um, 1.7 times 10 to the minus third times this product, which will be um, Point zero 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 two six eight seven. Okay, um, and then we're going that will multiply those two, and then we divide by the four to clear that one out, and we take the square root in the end. Okay, so we do this computation, and what we end up with is we have the square root of 1.7 times 10 to the negative third times, um, and I'm going to 0 0.0002687 uh, divided by 4. And now what I end up with is 0 0.000338. Okay. So what we're looking for now to, to re-verify our, re our uh, assumption, we need to make sure that this value is comparable to our previous estimate. Right? So here's my new estimate using, uh, using uh, not this value, but this value divided by 2. So let me write that one in. Um, that was... Uh, the value I had there was um, 
let me just retrieve that to more significant figures. And we have 3.47 times 10 to the negative fourth. Okay, so there's x originally, and here's my new value for x. So this is what I got based on an assumption that x was zero, okay, in other words, negligible compared to this. And then here's my new value when I make the, the starting point as this. So what we're looking for is convergence of these two numbers. X is 3.47 times 10 to the negative 4. X is 3.38 times 10 to the negative 4. Okay, so you can see um, to two significant figures, this would be 3.5 this would be 3.4, right? Pretty close, but not exact, right? We could do this one more time to, uh, to, to verify um, that indeed it will, uh, it will converge on a value. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. Pretty confident in this value there though. Um, but let's plug that in just once more uh, to, to verify this, okay? So we have 4x squared divided by um, this time 0 0.035 minus this value. And so we have 0 0.035 minus uh, 0 0.000338. And we get um, 0 0.034666, uh, okay, times, uh, my uh, my uh, other one here, 0 0.0081 minus 3.38 times 10 to the minus 4, and we get 0 0.007762. All right, so here's my new equation. We still have that same constant at the uh, 2300 degrees, and when we calculate this, when we solve it for x, we find that x uh, will be equal to uh, 1.7 times 10 to the minus 3 times this product here, which is um, 0 0.000269 um, and so that's that product, the product of these times that. We divide that by four and take the square root. Okay, and what we end up with is um, the square root of 1.7 times 10 to the negative third times 2.69 times 10 to the negative fourth divided by 4, and we have 0 0.000338. Okay, so indeed we get the same value. It converges even to three significant figures. All right, so at this point we certainly don't need to go any further. Um, we probably didn't need to go any further here because, uh, you know, 3.5 versus 3.4, we're always going to be more confident with the, the latest um, iteration of this cycle. But here, totally confident, it's exactly the same at three significant figures. All right, so here is our concentration, um, but that's x, okay? our concentration of NO would be twice that value, okay? Or 2X, which is the concentration of NO at equilibrium, 0 0.000676, or I'll say 6.8 molar, okay? So this 
would be the concentration of NO at equilibrium at the uh, the 2300 Kelvin. Okay, um, quite significant. Right, and you see there's not a whole lot of difference uh, there.